Welcome to American Times instructions on replacing a mechanical movement with the AllSync Plus kit. The replacement kit comes with the parts shown here. The tools you'll need for this installation are listed below. In our example, the old dust cover has already been removed. Begin with the clock face down on a soft pad or cushion. Release the back plate from the bezel by removing each of the four tenements or speed nuts. Use a needle nose pliers to pull them from the clips. Next, remove the clips by prying them up with a flathead screwdriver. The clips are under tension, so cover them with your hand as they release. Lift the clock by the movement and set the bezel and crystal aside. Remove the hands from the clock, starting with the sweep hand. On some clocks, you may need to release the sweep hand with a 50 thousandths hex key wrench. Insert the wrench and loosen the set screw. The hand will fall free. You can now remove the minute and hour hands by gently prying them up with a flathead screwdriver and lifting them off. We'll take the dial off, loosening the two center screws. They can be either Phillips or flathead. Lift off the dial and remove the three screws from the face of the back plate. You can now lift off the back plate. Discard the old movement. Set the back plate face down and align the adapter plate to the center hole with the angled corners facing down. Turn the clock over while holding the adapter plate in place. Drop in the two original movement screws. Cover them and flip the clock back over. Fasten the two screws with the included star washers. And use a screwdriver to tighten them down. Attach the dial with the original screws. Insert the all sync movement into the back plate through the center hole and between the two guides in the adapter plate. This will prevent any rotation of the movement. Turn the plate face up and screw the center mounting nut on the pin. Be sure not to cross thread it. Use a half inch nut driver to tighten the nut down. Don't over tighten or you could damage the movement. Next, apply the hands, placing the hour hand on first. In the all sync kit, the hands are all press on hands. Align the hand to 12 o'clock as best you can. Repeat the same steps with the remaining two hands.
Check to make sure the hands are evenly spaced and not touching each other. If they aren't, slightly bend the hands, but you shouldn't need much adjustment. You can look down the edge of the clock to check. Each of the three hands should point toward 12 o'clock. Center the back plate in the bezel and replace the clips in each of the four corners. Hook them in the center and push the ends into the lip of the bezel. Use the four original speed nuts to hold the clips in place. If they're damaged, you can find A1500 speed nuts at most hardware stores, or you can order replacements from American Time. Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to push them on. Plug the multicolored cable into the circuit board. The green and yellow wires should be up. Now take the dust cover with the circuit board in it. Place the ground wire inside the dust cover and use one of the screws provided in the all sink kit to attach it. Thread a star washer and nut onto the screw and tighten it down. Select the male end of the Molex plug and insert it into the base of the dust cover. The all sync movement arrives with the standard 120 volt power or run and 120 volt core or correction. Here, you'll see the default pin placement for run and correction. The jumpers can be repositioned for 120 volt run and 24 volt correction. Like this. Or they can be repositioned for 24 volt run and 24 volt correction. If needed, adjust the run and correction. Remove the gear locking pin from the movement. Take the multicolored cable and plug it into the movement. Next, connect the ground wire to the mounting point. Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten it. Now tuck the wires into the dust cover and set the cover on the remaining studs. Thread the nuts on the studs. Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten it. You have now assembled a standard electric time clock with an AllSync Plus 03 conversion kit. For more do-it-yourself videos, visit American-Time.com.